before you watch this video, here's a warning. Please do not try these pranks at home or at school. Do not try and recreate anything you see on this channel and do not be as stupid as Elliot. Sorry, bro. As a lot of you know, I haven't posted a prank for a while and it's been something I mean to address a lot of you to. Um, it's a difficult one. And I know it's not a video you're gonna wanna see and I know it's not something, I, I, I don't know, it's not a lot you wanna hear in that, but I mean, yeah, I, I laid off pranking Elliot. I, I, I stopped pranking Elliot. Reason being is I heard from thousands of you that Elliot was taking a bit of a turn for the worse and, you know, his life was going downhill. First of all, I heard that he was um, causing trouble on the streets. When I found out what it wasn't actually trouble, he was just sleeping rough on the streets. He left the house, uh, he, he didn't want even live in the caravan. He wanted to live in civilization. I shouldn't. <laughs> this is Elliot's room. Um, we thought we'd make space to the place. I use for something useful. Now I've got a place, call this the ironing room. Um, he's not here anymore. Just need to get rid of these weird decorations and stuff. Um, Elliot, if you're watching this, can you come and pick up your stress ball, please? The amount of dirty socks the magazines we found in here. No one's business. It's disgusting. I have to, I'm, I'm thinking I'm getting fumigated. He was living on the streets of Cardiff in his boxer shorts. Literally in his pants. And I found him on the streets of Cardiff in his pants and a Rudolph onesie. Honestly, you look like an absolute dog. Why was you on that bench? Why don't you sleep on what you want? I'm pissed. I'm not going. You can't be living on the street. All porn mags. Lots and lots of porn mags. Money, everything. You get a camera and you get it too. Who does that? Who does that? So, I mean, yeah, that was situation one. Situation two. Um, apparently, he was perving on women in lingerie shops. <laughs> In this store, this is a store, this is a lingerie store. That's where the putties at. Let's go in there. He's disgusting. Not a good look. <laughs> he was playing on people in lingerie shops. I had to go take him to uh, a soap company to get some soap to wash up. Clean yourself, Otherwise, you're going to be dirty. I'm clean as it is. I mean, look, it's not even that bad. The price is 18 pounds. £20, £39. £20 yeah. quid for a bottle of soap. If I said bauble, it's £10. Do you think I can afford that shit? Calm down, Elliot. And then, you know, the next thing I find out, uh, he's shouting at fans. He's shouting at fans while they want selfies, like screaming. <laughs> Get off me, I don't want to. Stop taking selfies! You, could, you know, and I just thought, wow, Elliot's life is taken for a turn. He's mentally gone down. <laughs> He's physically gone down. Uh, if you don't, Marge said next door, Elliot's got fatter. Um, this is a photo of Elliot before. Exactly, you can see Elliot is in a lot of trouble right now. Uh, so I, I laid off. I did lay off the pranks. I, I took time away from them. And I wanted to post more content for you guys to see. More vlogs like these vlogs. And I wanted to do cooler stuff like cinematic shots, just like this one. <laughs> Another thing that came to my attention was then, I wish I was shocked, he was taking baths in, in the public 
uh, jacuzzi or public hot tub, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I got a drone, spy. <laughs> you know, you can't take baths in public hot tubs, you can't take baths here, uh, you know, and even the point of running at the drone with your, your dick hanging out, <laughs> that's wrong, you know? Uh, so yeah, I, I laid off completely, I did. Um, I laid off completely off the pranks just to give out a bit of mental time. And I came to the conclusion that maybe laying off the pranks wasn't actually helping Elliot. Maybe I needed to prank Elliot again. I suppose it's the part that I say. So.